What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for the Spider S&P 500 ETF Trust and the Triple Qs. So I'll first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So the last time I looked at the SPY was last week Sunday, which was when price closed on Friday right here at the 431 level. Uh, we had a nice impulse up from early October. There was a consolidation pattern here. Normally, you'll see continuation to the upside, but you can see the bulls had a hard time breaking through that 437 level. Price dropped down lower, which is still okay because we still could have had another large leg up after, after a higher low. So something like this could have occurred or like that, but that did not happen. So price is coming back down to this prior uh, breakout point at the 417, 418 level. So that's where it's coming back to. It's looking like it wants to drop to that level. Since we're right back here at this prior support, I think price is going to break below this swing low. There's some stop losses there by the bulls. And yeah, price is trying to reach that 417 level. So I see a little bit more downside uh, for the SPY. Um, kind of a surprise price stalled out right here at the 437 level. I don't really see anything telling me why it happened, but I know there is something out there. Um, maybe a trend line I'm missing uh, or a channel, but I try to draw a trend line and you can see that's not really fitting uh, it's not really, uh, price not really getting rejected from this trend line. It didn't come up all the way up here. So then I'm like, okay, well maybe this trend line off of these two swings. This is, this could work out, but I am trying to cut this candle right here a little bit too much. So again, this might not be valid. And then for a channel, you can see that price. If I connect the swings on the top and I drag it down parallel channel, it doesn't really fit that good on the bottom. So it could be something like that. But uh, we'll see how this develops. I'll leave it right now like that. But I'm so really surprised that price stalled out at this uh, 437 level and did not reach that 442 level or 443 level. So again, again, market is not guaranteed to do anything. It can always do uh, something else than expected. But again, you can see the market is dropping down lower. It's coming back down to this swing low, which it already is at. It's going to probably break the swing low at the 420 level and then reach that 417 uh, 416 level. So that's my target in the short term. Long term, uh, since price is not trying to go up, it may be trying to make another large leg down. Since we already did see two legs down, this was one leg down, this was the second leg down, and price is still dropping, we may just con uh, continue dropping down lower to make another larger leg. So this is one leg down now, and this could be the second leg down targeting the 398 level. So I'll mark that right now. We'll see if the SPY can get there. I don't think the SPY is that uh, bearish. I still think we will continue push up higher because this was a nice strong uptrend since October of last year. So that's a one year bull market, technically one year uptrend that the price has been inside of. However, short term, we are seeing a little bearish price action, but the bulls should be able to push up prices higher in the future. But if not, you know where the bears are headed. They're headed for the 417 level and they're headed for the 398 level. So that's all I have for the SPY as of right now, looking for more downside, not expecting a whole lot more downside. The, the bull should uh, save price at the 417 level because that was the breakout point that the bears might be just trying to test the entire time because this was prior resistance. They want to test it to turn into prior new support. So we'll see if that level holds for a rebound towards the upside. So that's all I have for the SPY on the daily chart. Here's a look at the weekly chart. In the weekly chart, you can kind of see why price was not able to push up higher based on the EMA. You see the price uh, struggled to push through the EMA, it pushed right below it, and then the bulls were not able to get back above it. So that was a, a sign or indication that, you know, it's showing signs of weakness uh, for the bulls. And then price came back in, very bearish last week, and it looks like we're going to make a new swing low and reach that 417 level as of right now, and it may continue to push down lower uh, towards the low 400s, high 390s. So that's all I have for the SPY right now. But again, this is uh, looks pretty bullish to me as of right now. I think we can still continue moving up higher. As long as we stay above the 417 level, that's a great chance. If we stay above the 400 level, that's a good chance, but it's not that great. Uh, so again, it just depends on where the bulls are able to stop this drop as of right now. As of right now, I'm not expecting a huge drop lower uh, for the SPY. Maybe we do make another large leg down. So let's just take a look at that right now. This is one leg down here. And since we had to move up higher and we're falling, we could see another large leg down, something like that. Uh, that's not what I'm expecting to occur. I don't think that can occur, but again, it's something that can form uh, and uh, occur at some other point in time. 
As right now, I'm not expecting that. I still think this is bullish territory, meaning this is still within a good relative size pullback for more upside. So that's a lot for the SPY as of right now. Let's take a look at the triple Qs. Let's go look on the daily chart first. So the triple Qs are easier to see why price is dropping down lower. You can see there was a large leg down in the past. Let me go and raise this arrow. There was a large leg down in the past. When price made a retracement and started dropping, it can make a second leg down. And you can see that the measure move target was not reached at the 347 level. Price stalled out at the prior support at the 354. Bulls went up, failed at the 372, found resistance, sold off. Now price is back at the 354, 355 level. So it could fail to reach this measure target and we can see a strong reversal in the opposite direction, something like that. However, since the measure target is in play uh, and you know bears are making lower highs, you can see they're making lower highs off the swings, then there's a good chance they have, they're probably stronger than the bulls as of right now. So there's a good chance price will probably break down lower from the support level to reach that 347. And maybe even this 320 level right here, because that was the breakout point uh, for the triple Qs, much higher than the SPY. Um, so we'll see how this develops. But again, these two markets are looking slightly bearish, but price should push up higher in the future. Again, it's not guaranteed, but again, this is a nice uptrend in play. All this is a nice uptrend. We're just seeing a uh, correction take place. Correction should terminate around right around the 347 level. Uh, if it not, then you know where it's going. It's going at the 320. If it does terminate there, then you know where it's headed. It's headed towards a new high of the uptrend and possibly a new all-time high uh, for the market. So that's all I have for the triple Qs. We'll see how this develops. I think ne next week's going to be pretty interesting. We'll see if um, we see a reversal take place sometime next week or in the next coming weeks. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time. The V Trades Technical Analysis Course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.